In this lesson, let's take a look at doing message tracking log searches based on uh, time and date ranges. So as we saw uh, in the last video, it takes quite a while to collect all of the message tracking log data when there is uh, a lot of it on the server. So if you're retaining uh, more than 30 days or several gigabytes of data and you have multiple servers to search, then those results can take quite a while to come in. So what we can do is narrow the search based on the time and date uh, for the particular email that you might be looking for. And we can do that using uh, two parameters with get message tracking log. There is the start parameter and the end parameter. And these accept uh, basically a date or a date and time string. So let's have a look at the current date. So at the moment it is the 29th of November. So I can say get message tracking log start and I will say uh, 29, uh, 28th November and make sure I search SID EX3 in this case. So let's compare uh, a search of all the message tracking logs on SID EX3. So that took several minutes to return that result and there's 85,000 messages uh, on the in the message tracking logs. Uh, sorry, there's 85,000 log entries in the message tracking logs on CDX3. So let's see what happens if we set a start time of yesterday's date, which is the 28th actually got to be uh, month, then date, and then year. And we'll see if that gets us uh, a much smaller result a lot quicker. Okay, much faster to return that result and uh, only about 8,000 log entries returned. So you can see how much time it saves and how much less log data you'll need to sift through uh, if you do searches where you're limited by time and date range. Now we could just as easily uh, set a start and an end time. So uh, we could say get message tracking log so, uh, CDX3, we'll say start on uh, 11 28 2012 and 1300 hours and end on 11 28 2012 at 1500 hours I'm not sure how many results we're going to get back from this but it will be interesting okay so that was quite quick let's have a look at the actual count 492 log entries so even fewer messages uh, log entries returned there uh, by limiting both a start and an end date. Now using uh, these date time strings can be a little bit cumbersome. Uh, it can be fairly accurate uh, when you want to be very precise in your log searches, but most of the time I find myself uh, wanting to do message tracking logs uh, for what I would call a relative date range. So a problem has been brought to my attention. It may be a problem that occurred within the last hour, for example. And without even having to look at the current time and work out what the time was one hour ago or two hours ago or anything like that, uh, I can just do relative date and time. So we can say get date add hours minus one. So all I'm doing here is saying that I want my start time to be the current date. And then I use the add hours method to subtract one hour. So in effect, what we're saying is one hour from the current time and date, one hour in the past. Very quick there. Let's have a look uh, again at that message count. Only 72 log entries. So that's even more precise, much, much faster. And uh, you can combine that technique with uh, some of the techniques that I showed you in the previous lessons. So 
let's say we want to get uh, a list of the messages in servers get message tracking log start get date and hours minus one so I'm going to collect in a variable called messages uh, all of the message message tracking log entries within the last hour for all of the servers that I'm piping in from this servers variable and let's see how many messages came back 150 in total I can have a look at them all let's have a look at the group object by property let's see who the top senders were in that hour for example So there's those top senders that sent five or had uh, generated five log entries, for example. Okay, don't worry too much about the syntax there. That's um, uh, some general PowerShell stuff. You can use the group object command, let it select, sort, and so on. Now, much the same way you can do uh, relative uh, date timestamps using uh, add days. So I can say that would be the last 24 hours, which would be the same as using at hours minus 24. And you can also use the same technique for uh, an end date as well. So we could say get date add hours minus 12. So in this case, we would be searching for all of the log entries starting 24 hours ago up to 12 hours ago. It's as simple as that. So that is pretty straightforward and you will save yourself a lot of time if you uh, narrow your searches down to specific date and time ranges. Uh, as you can see, you get back those results, you get back fewer results to sort through uh, and you'll get them back much, much faster. So in the next lesson, we'll look at some of the other properties of those messages uh, that we can filter on in our message tracking log searches as well.